All right, guys. Thanks for clicking and watching. And what we're going to do today is go through my first completed big old binder since I started getting back in to the TCG world and Magic the Gathering. Um, and look at some cards. Um, try and look at some cards as long as this camera is going to operate. So um, I have a little story time of each one, I suppose. But um, let's try and get a little bit of this glare out of here. Just going to work the way I want it to? Probably not. That's all right. I think we can see a little bit pretty decent there. Uh, place that a path to exile. So this is uh, a little bit of story time. So uh, 2020, you know, um, end of the world, cancel of everything. Um, these uh, paths uh, it would come in a, um, you know, one of those command fests or something bundles that you could buy. Same thing with the uh, lightning bolt here. And then on the bottom, we've got um, some promo soul rings and one foil. And then in the middle, the OG box toppers. Back from uh, Ultimate Masters. They gave two of these to everybody who tried to buy and had issue with uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, that they did for, um, the, uh, you know, what what they even call that? The Collector Edition, Ultimate Edition, I think it was Ultimate Edition, um, the uh, War of the Spark, um, Guilds of Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiance, um, you know, Ultimate Editions, uh, when you tried to buy one of those and got screwed out of them, they sent you a box topper, um, so that's why I have three, because I opened one box, and then they sent me a box topper for the two canceled orders I had, um, which was kind of cool. All right, let's try and move this binder around a little bit. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. And okay, not everything is going to be, you know, oh my God, it's like a million dollars, it's so cool. But um, just kind of tells a story of the past couple of years when we got back into this. We've got a couple, uh, M21 was the next set that kind of came out that, uh, that summer, summer 2020. We're trying, actually, I'm just going to ditch this. I'm just going to hold this camera. All right. And, um, and yeah, so, um, M21 was a really fun set. A lot of different planeswalkers. Stop it, light. Um, a lot of different art styles. So you can see here, we've got Worker of the Deads in full arts. This is when they started making all the variants. This Teferi had like, you know, 16 different things or something. There was even differences in like slight differences in the uh, uh, the art of these on um, similar cards like, and these were different on some of them. So weird time. And then the reprint hammer. We got Ulan reprinted. And we got a couple of those guys. So again, in the sense of not everything in this binder is worth a whole lot. These planeswalkers from Ikoria. Um, not worth anything, specifically, especially the ones, some of the ones over from Zendikar, not worth anything. Um, we have an out of place Ugin. What are you doing over there, buddy? You should be with your friends. What are you doing over there? You have to, you have to, all right, stay with me, guys. That's, that's just not going to fly. It can't be. Can't have that. Kevin. There you go. All right, better. Now you're in a place correct, but that's no big deal. All right, so um, remember when that? Remember when that was a thing? I do. I remember. Um, then we've got some stained glass planeswalkers, which came in some uh, secret layers. Pretty cool, fair. So that's one of my favorites. And then again, just some stained glass stuff. These are not even rares, but again, we're telling a story here, people. We're telling a story. A little bit more M21 as my organization skills got, tried to get better. I was really into the Cultivate. I just thought the art was great. Um, these I was able to buy and sell and make a good profit on those. A couple of Mythics. Stormwings, big up and then big down. But again, 
I used these in the deck, so it was cool. Full art foil sand robots, containment priests, things that you thought maybe were gonna be great and then aren't. They're right there. And here's some of the nice, nicer ones. You got the Grims. A couple of Grim Toots. I know he used to be something. I'm not sure if he still is. Tyler the Peaks, a nice card, held some value. This was one that was a throwback for me. First of all, can you can you get enough of that art? I can't. Um, this bad boy was a throwback for, for me. Mirrored in. Awesome. Got the foil walking ballista. Mm, sword. Staring bridge. All that good stuff. And then we get into our uh, kind of a Corius section of the uh, Godzilla's. Uh -oh. Our Godzilla's kind of kaiju variants. Look at those bad boys. Oh, yeah. Um, wish I knew how to make this light not so terrible, but, you know, we're going to have to deal with what it is, people. Sorry. Not a professional. Um, a lot of mythics, you know, some, just some solid rares. Urian, I think he just got banned. Or not. Yeah. 20 cards won the maximum. Yeah, he did get banned in modern. Fiend Artisan. That was one at the time that made some money. And here's a try on page. Just one. Looks like I tried to have like two of each. Savari. Kitra. Zargoth. And then we were lucky enough to open a foil. And then two. Actually, I should probably sell one of these. <laughs> but I was lucky enough to open a foil and then these two. Here's my Euro. I opened him at uh, pre release for this set. Um, Theros. Really some fun. Um, then we're going to get into Double Master Territory. Now, this one, I opened a lot of these. A little bit more money at the time, but these were the part of the $100 packs. Got a Kalia, Traxa, Full Art, um, Avacyn, Blightsteel. Got the full panoramic of the tower to the plant, to the mine, to the carn. That's pretty cool for me. I'm ready into that. Got the opal and the mox. I'm sorry. The opal and, and the chrome, both mox. Couple swords. And we get to the ones that just are, I mean, you know, they're still really cool. Jace, really cool art. Batter skull. I thought it's using a deluge. Rift, crop rotation, exploration. Hierarchs, Blood Moons, opened a million of those. Expedition map on the head. Continuing with some Double Masters, got our Mana Crypt, Phyrexian Altar, and then these two, which were just, just such a shame to open when you did. Just like $5 cards, total suck. Expedition map was always on top of the Goblin Guide's head. Land Tax, Confidant, just some nice stuff. And then we break into Zendikar. Flip modal lands. You know, just back and forth on the pathways. One of each. You know, to display either side. Uh, some more Zendikar. Some of these big old mythic hits. This is actually an interesting story. Um, it's a misprint. And you see how off-centered those are. One is actually part of the other card. You can see. It's pretty miscut. So I kept those just because those those kind of cool. Open that boy pre-release as well. And then some of the expeditions you open, Market Pool, Promenade, Sea Clouds, Colonnade. On the other page we got more of the um expeditions, Prismatic Vista, Strand, a Misty, Delta. Cavern, Foothills, got our Fetchlands. Kind of fun. This is some Commander Legends I believe we get into now. Um, this is a an extra of the Doggo Secret Lair. I don't know why I had extra, but I opened it, kept it. Um, some lands, and then some Commander Legends stuff. Got my Jewel Lotus down here. She pretty. 
feel like foil commander plate. I don't know why I just did this so you could see it, but very. Um, and then some lands, you know, can never have enough land, never have enough land. And then over in this page, more from Cal Time. Got our gold span dragon, you know, the staples of the time. A Valky, I was lucky enough to open a Bornaclex. That was our first indication that Phyrexia was coming back. Scary times. Secret layers, more secret layers. Yeah, so that's about half the book. I'm gonna get up to the Kelp. I'm gonna stop at the Walking Dead secret layer. And then we'll do the second half of the book in a second video. Leave me any comments. Let me know what you guys think. Organization aside. Um, let me know. Cool. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one.